Nasal cavity is divided into two by nasal septum. Problems arise when it is not dividing it symmetrically, leading to a condition known as DNS, or deviated nasal septum. Causes of DNS There are four important causes. Number one is trauma. Any abnormal pressure applied to nasal septum results in its deviation to one side or another. Example, being hit by a boxer on the nose. Number two is developmental, or abnormalities acquired during the formation of nasal septum. Example, palate forms the base of nasal septum. If palate is high arched, then automatically nasal septum deviation will occur. Number three is racial. Some races, like Caucasians, have more incidence of DNS. Number four is hereditary. Some families have more incidence of DNS. Types of DNS 1. Anterior dislocation The nasal septum is dislocated into one of the nasal chambers. 2. C-shaped dislocation Septum is deviated in a simple curve to one side. Compensatory hypertrophy of turbinates occur in other side. 3. S-shaped deformity Nasal septum shows S-shaped deformity. This results in bilateral nasal obstruction. 4. Spurs Shelf-like projection it touches lateral wall and may give rise to headaches. Clinical features of DNS Clinical features of DNS can be simply remembered using the mnemonic Nasim has DNS. N is for nasal obstruction. Naturally, any deviation in nasal septum causes less nasal space and results in nasal obstruction on the side of DNS. A is for insomnia. Patient is unable to smell, as there is failure of inspired air to reach the olfactory region. Loss of smell may be partial or total. S is for sinitis. Since all sinuses have only one opening, and that's in the lateral wall of nose, DNS causes obstruction of these openings due to nasal obstruction. E is for epistaxis. E is for external deformity, particularly in young females or males who are more conscious of this. M is for middle ear infection. DNS also predisposes to middle ear infection because eustachian tube, which is the only drainage source of middle ear, opens in nasopharynx, and DNS can cause its obstruction and resulting in middle ear infections. Treatment Minor cases of DNS require no treatment. If the symptoms are severe, then on reaching the age of 17, we can opt for septoplasty, in which the most deviated parts of nasal septum are removed, and the rest of septum is corrected and repositioned using plastic means. A more radical form of this operation is submucous resection, in which mucoperichondral and mucoperistitial flaps overlying one side of the septum are lifted. Most of the septum is removed and flaps repositioned.